Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Place, the place where you get to learn how to make delicious Italian recipes, homemade Italian recipes, with me. Today we are making pasta alla puttanesca and has three main ingredients, olives, capers and anchovies. A delicious pasta recipe from the area of Naples. Let's make it together and I'll share the story of this pasta with you. So what ingredients do we need for pasta alla puttanesca? First, spaghetti pasta, uh, which is the original pasta that was used for this recipe. You can use penne, you can use fusilli, any type of pasta that you like. Please, you be very creative. Then what we need is, we need anchovies, or like in England they're called anchovies. Make sure they are in olive oil. Don't get anchovies in vinegar or you will ruin the recipe. We need capers, capers under salt. We need to wash them properly under water so we remove the salt. Then we need garlic and you use as much garlic as you like. And then we need a Kalamata olives. Now, if you're not in Italy and you come get the olives from Gaeta, you get Kalamata olives because it will be fantastic for this dish. We need fresh parsley and we need uh, one can of peeled tomatoes or you can use beautiful sweet cherry tomatoes only if you have the nice cherry tomatoes like the one from Amalfi Coast. You need some beautiful cherry tomatoes or go for that, go for the peeled tomatoes. This recipe is so easy and so fast so I'm going to cook the pasta at the same time I'm making the sauce so they will be ready together. You need a nice beautiful amount of rock salt to put in your water and always use a large amount of water when you make pasta. And then you put the spaghetti inside. This is for Susan and I, so we have about uh, 300 grams of spaghetti. Now, come over here. I want to show you how we are going to make this beautiful sauce. First, we need to go and wash the capers. Now it's time to make the sauce. Warm up your pan, and then you want to add extra virgin olive oil, a nice amount. Then what we do, we are going to add the anchovies. I would say about two per person. Now, I don't love anchovies, I'm not a big fan, but this recipe needs the anchovies. And what you're gonna do now, we are going to melt the anchovies in here, that when you eat it, you don't really taste it, but they will give such an incredible flavor to this pasta. So let's wait for the anchovies to melt. So as we are cooking the anchovies, we are going to add the garlic in there, okay? Beautiful. If you love garlic, you will love this. At the same time, I'm going to add the capers. Here we go. Got the beautiful yummy capers. And we have our wonderful uh, olives. What I'm going to do with the olives is I'm going to crush them like that in there. I don't want to cut them. I just want to crush them a little bit with my hands. So they bring out more flavors and then we want to do this for a couple of minutes just to give the flavor just want to make, to get the flavors to to mix to mix together and to make love now it's time for us to put a little bit of color in this okay i want to show you what we're going to use we're going to use these wonderful peeled tomatoes a little bit of salt not too much the reason why we don't use too much salt is because the capers are extremely salty the anchovies are salty, so go crazy with the pepper, but not too much with the salt. Uh, we also want to um, chop some beautiful fresh parsley. So we put some in there. Beautiful. Let's mix it together. What I'm going to do, I, I, want, I need to crush. I need to crush this. Come and have a look, come and have a look. I need to crush these tomatoes. Oh my god, the flavors of the tomatoes are coming out right now. Beautiful. Just a little crush to the tomatoes mixed with the parsley. You can use basil if you like, but parsley goes very well with the anchovies and the capers. Okay, now we have all the ingredients pretty much uh, flavored. You know, all the ingredients are flavored. See, the, there's not much left of the anchovies. Look at that. There's nothing left. It became a cream. Now it's time for us to add the beautiful sauce. 
and we give the color to this dish. Beautiful, look at that. Look how fantastic this is. Yeah, wow, yeah, the flavors are really are out now, yes. And the sauce needs a couple of minutes to cook, not too much. So the history of puttanesca. So if I translate to you what puttanesca means, <laughs> it's not gonna be very nice, but puttanesca means prostitute. So yeah, I know it's not really nice, but um, this pasta was created in the brothels back in the 20th centuries in Naples. And because the male need to get some energy before, you know, they go and do their business, the prostitutes in the brothels, they used to cook this pasta. And this is what, what they used to have in the house. This was cheap, this was always available, and it gives you the energy. So if you like to add extra energy to your beautiful um, puttanesca, what I would say is add some chili. So we're gonna add a little bit of chili. Not everyone likes to do it, but I think chili flakes can give you the, the kick that you want, especially in the old days when you know this was uh, pasta was made for those gentlemen now the pasta is cooked okay so i've got the pasta over here i've got the spaghetti and they're already cooked look how beautiful they are we're gonna get this pasta and put it straight in the pan beautiful spaghetti and what we do now we're gonna add the spaghetti in our sauce yeah nice and we are going to toss it I want to toss it so the spaghetti will get the flavor. Look how nice it is. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful this pasta is. Beautiful, smooth, tasty. The flavors, the flavors are telling me, please eat me, eat me. Look how nice it is. And this is how you make your beautiful, delicious, Puttanesca pasta. Look at that. Say hello, pasta. Eat me. We are going to eat you. Oh, yeah. This is definitely the best part of the recipe. Let's get this beautiful pasta full of flavors. And we are going to plate it. How much do you want, Suzanne? It smells delicious, so I want a lot. A lot of it? Okay. So is this your plate? Yeah, that's my one. And the little one here is mine? That's yours. <laughs> so, make sure you decorate it. You wanna put the olives everywhere. And then go and find your capers in here, see? I like to go and find my capers because the capers, believe it or not, most of the flavors are in there. You got the olives, get some cherry tomatoes, well, some tomatoes, and then we get a little bit of parsley to just decorate it's beautiful, beautiful, sexy pasta. And this is how you make a delicious puttanesca pasta. Look at that. Look how sexy it is. So Suzanne, you wanna eat from the plate? I like to eat from this. So let's put parsley in there. Ah, oh, so you're not having the small plate. I know. I think there's more flavors when you have it straight from the pan. Let's see if it's good. So thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope I brought you all the way to Naples with this dish. Thank you so much for watching this video recipe. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Oh yeah, time to eat. Mm. Mm. Wow. Like I said before, I don't love anchovies, but the anchovies give the right flavor to this pasta and you don't really taste them, it just keeps the flavor. Mm.